I guess one rude awakening, maybe that's too harsh a term out of something like Heavenly Creatures, after a first role, you realize like you form these relationships with Kate and the crew and everybody. And it probably feels like at the time, like we're going to be together forever. Yeah. We have, we will have this bond forever. Yeah. And then you quickly learn the nature of the businesses. Yeah. Some people you keep in your life in different ways and some you don't because it's a traveling circus and you move on to the next circus in a way. So was there an adjustment period of like, Oh wow. I've just like, I've made these, what seem like, insanely profound bonds and now it's like on, I have to move on it was I guess when I lost touch with Kate it was more heartbreaking than some breakups <laughs> that I've had oh, gosh. It, was, it was so painful because of and it wasn't like anything happened it's just she became a gigantic international movie star and she didn't have a lot of time and then suddenly she'd be in Los Angeles and not have time, you know, when I was living here and then she'd be there and I wouldn't hear from her, you know, and it just sort of like sure. gradually happened and it happens in relationships. People kind of drift apart. But I was, it was so painful for me and it happened a couple of times. Like I remember one time I did a movie with this actor and when, we were finished I said oh my gosh I'm just so happy that I met you and we have this friendship and she was like yeah I'm not friends with actors <laughs> I don't stay friends with actors <laughs> and I was just like what <laughs> oh, old it, yeah, yeah. Well, it's been really great hanging out for the movie but and I was so shocked by it this compartmentalizing of like the compartmentalizing and the now that you know and that was someone who'd been working longer than me and I think was used to yeah no we move on we yeah. move on and this is just a couple of months of our life but I was so sensitive I was always like so injured by losing these like great loves I was having and you know you, I, I, it got easier sure yeah. you must have crossed paths with Kate though in recent years even like the ward circuit and stuff like that no no, no. I saw her at the premiere of Away We Go. Away, suddenly I was like, is that the name of it? Away We Go. <laughs> Sam Mendes, um, yeah. yeah. That beautiful movie that I'm so proud to be part of. I That's the last time I saw her. So I don't Got remember it. that. It, it is it is fascinating. To see her. She she did the podcast uh, recently as well. And it was, mm -hmm. it's fascinating to like look at how both of you kind of like had these amazing early experiences and both kind of dealt with the crappy parts especially for young women <laughs> coming out of that. And like, she's been very outspoken, I think in a great way of talking about how like the media treated her and how she was talked about. And then you've been, look, uh, you've, for good or for bad, have become this poster child to talking about a body image, which I'm sure you're like sick of, and I'm not going to go down that road with you too, but it is, but I do think it's very telling that you both have like the two pillars of this movie, both went on very different paths and yet both were kind of, abused in different ways by the system and then kind of like yeah turned out you know what i mean i don't really have a question there it's just it strikes me i guess i don't know yeah um, she was like a huge inspiration for me the way she was handling all that as young as she was and you know i know she's like a very very confident person but she everyone's sensitive and she's very sensitive and the way she was dissected and talked about and I remember at the time just being so furious on her behalf, especially because like Kate Winslet is now in the world. Like Kate Winslet is doing movies and you're getting to witness that talent. And those yeah, this is a gift to us. Yeah, exactly. This is like a life changing act. This is like an actor that comes along once in a generation. Like just focus on that. Like yeah. also she's, it was tiny and she still is tiny. It just, it, it infuriated me so much. And I just, was always amazed by how gracefully she handled all of it. It was always really impressive. 